Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Brayden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, for tonight's episode, we are going to look at the supposed united front from the Democrats around gun control. Because the big secret is, it's not as united as they are posturing that it is. And that's what I want to highlight here. This article does a very good job of bringing that to light just by itself. However, now keep in mind, you've got the far left people who are the more gun control, the better. You've got the Blumenthal's, the Bookers, the Feinsteins. You've got that wing of the Democrats. Then you have the ones that actually live closer to the real world. You've got the testers, the cinemas, the mansions. They're the ones that can't get kicked out of the party, but they also can't go all the way Feinstein. Okay? This is not a unified front as they would have you believe. And I'm going to have everything linked in the description box. Let's dive into this. I cannot wait to hear what you think of this because this is really important. Manchin throwing a wrench into Democrats' push for broader gun control. This is from a couple days ago, the 18th. Now, I'm sure you guys have been around the last 18 months. They, you, they love using Manchin as the one to just completely smack around because he's the most vocal. He's the one that actually stands up and says, we're not going to do that because it won't be good. You guys know that, but that's not going to stop him. Check this out, and then I'm going to show you this disjointed nature going on here. A racially motivated situation in Buffalo is putting new pressure on Democrats to consider gun control legislation. But once again, centrist Senator Joe Manchin, Democrat West Virginia, is emerging as a problem. Now, to his credit, is he a problem or is he actually understanding that the Constitution will prevent them from doing this? Because they can't. But they're gonna, still going to try because, like I said, those same people, the far left, they don't care. They are ideologues. They are not constitutionalists. Let's keep trucking. Manchin says the pared-down proposal to expand background checks that he helped negotiate in 2013 in the hope of getting support from the National Rifle Association is the only reform that has a chance of passing the 50-50 Senate, undercutting Democrats' hope of passing broader legislation. Now, he's talking about Manchin to me. Okay, I'm going to get into that more in a second. But out of his own mouth, nothing is getting even remotely close to getting on, on the floor except Manchin to me. But the far left is not about that life either. Check this out. I'm going to keep on going. You'll start to see the picture as we zoom out a little bit. While more ambitious proposals to ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines never had a chance of getting 60 votes in the Senate, why'd they just do more? Democrats hope to at least unify their caucus behind the background checks legislation passed by the House last year, talking about H.R. 8 and H.R. 1446. Again, that unified caucus but they don't even have support for that. Check this out. But Manchin on Tuesday said his old proposal negotiated with the retiring GOP Senator Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania that would expand background checks for commercial transactions as the best option. So he's stuck on Manchin Toomey. I'm sure a lot of moderate Democrats are as well, but they are not budging. Here's what Manchin said. Quote, I support the Manchin Toomey. I've always done that, he said. The Manchin Toomey is the one. I think if you can't get that one, then why try to do something just for basically for voting for the sake of voting? Very well said. They only want to vote so they can use it as a cudgel in the elections and against other Democrats. Really, really important because right there, Manchin says, what's the point? None of these are going to work. That's very different from Cory Booker introducing more legislation. We covered it. Feinstein, more legislation. We covered it. All of these far left proposals don't have a chance. Manchin's out there saying the only one we can even do is this one. What, what are we doing? What's the point? Newsflash. Anytime in a Democratic caucus or Republican caucus for that matter, if you have one of your members saying what's the point of voting for voting, you might have a bigger problem. Anyway, let's keep going. Manchin told reporters in March of last year that he thought the House passed bill went too far, talking about H.R. 8 and H.R. 1446. Quote, what the House passed? Not at all. He told reporters at a time when asked whether he would support legislation that extended background checks to all sales and transfer of firearms. Again, the far-left Democrats wanted to unify between H.R. 8 and 1446. Manchin says there's not a snowball's chance downstairs. We need to go with Manchin to me. Division. And I'm sure there's a lot more Democrats that you're not even hearing from. But in this article, you've got Blumenthal. He's saying, this isn't going to happen. It doesn't go far enough. You've got Chris Murphy saying, I don't really know what the state of that is. Is it even voted on? I don't know what's happening. There's extreme division on this. Quote, At this point, we got nothing, and it's a nonstop blockade, said Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, a Democrat, Rhode Island, of entrenched Republican opposition to the gun control measure passed by the House in March of last year. They do have nothing. 
they don't, I'm not saying that they wouldn't do this if they had the power, they would, but they don't have the power to do it. They don't have the votes. The wall of unison that they're trying to persuade people and allude to, hey, look what we can do together. They don't even have the votes for basic stuff, much less go after um, voter ID, or excuse me, uh, gun ID laws, DOJ licensing, AR bans, raising the purchasing limit. They don't have any of those things. They can't even get Manchin on those, not to mention he won't even back back off of his sub, of his um, um, legislation, Mansion to me, and that's what I've got for you guys. The big blue wall that they're putting forward has a whole lot of holes in it. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on the bullet points. I'm Braden. See you later.